let's face it. I'm a professional diver and I like my work. But that doesn't mean that I'm crazy. And I'd have to be to like this part of it, handling explosives. Especially liquid nitro. One of the most powerful and possibly the most unstable explosive ever can find or can. It'll go off sometimes if you look at it the wrong way. If you jiggle it, or jar it, or drop it, well, they'll never find the pieces. You set it off underwater by an electric charge when you're a long, long way from it. In fact, out of the water entirely. At least that's what the book says. charges in a concrete wall, or placing TNT packs in a submarine crevice, or trying to defuse the warhead of a live torpedo. There's always the chance, and a man's a fool not to expect it to happen sometime or other, that the explosive he's handling may go off while he's still within range. Explosive machines like this one are comparatively stable, of course. The only real danger is if a boat hull comes into direct contact with it. My job was to see that it didn't happen by cutting the mine loose from the kelp bed and somehow wrestling it out of the path of those boats speeding by overhead. Explosives came as close to killing me this time as anything ever did. They literally fell on me. By the time I worked my way free and managed to cut the line to the detonator, I had made up my mind that this was the last time I'd ever take this kind of a risk. Never again. Famous last words. Three days later, fate and the Coast Guard landed me square in the middle of the most explosive underwater parlay of my life. disintegrate this boat. Yeah, that freighter is breaking up down there. Yeah. If they could just shut off that charge, we could get out of here. Oh, no. We've got to know that all of that nitro has exploded harmlessly. Can't you see a couple of those things floating around in a crowded harbor? Hey. Look at that. Yeah. She's shifting. Uh, if it was anything but nitro, it's so unpredictable. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you. Only let you know what you're getting into down there. I just hope I find those bombs right away. This is my last tank. Had to use up all my air. Locate that freighter. Look, that's bad. I'll get on the horn to base and have the plane fly out some tanks. Uh, it might be too late. Now listen, if it looks too tough when you get down there... It looks too tough from right here. Watch that, will you? See it doesn't tangle? Yeah. Oh, 
Station. Now don't get legal on us now. What's your name? John Stark. You plant the bomb on that pipe. I don't know what you're talking about. And you don't, huh? Well, your wife thinks differently. She phoned the authorities and reported that you intended to damage the plant. She's out of her mind. Is it true you used to work for Wendover and that you got fired about a week ago? So what? A lot of people get fired. What's that mean? That is... The more time we spend with him, the less time I'm going to have with that bomb that's down there. Stark, where's the bomb? No bomb. You're a scuba diver. You know all about it, huh? Enough. Enough to know what happens to a submerged man during an underwater explosion? Sure. The concussion pounds his insides to a pulp. Think it might kill him? Probably. I don't know. You don't, huh? Well, I'm going to give you a chance to find out. What do you mean? You're going down below with me. No! Okay, then tell me. Where is it? How many times do I have to tell you? There ain't no bomb! Well, good. You got nothing to worry about. Come on. No! Come on! No! Now, man, no bomb. Is there? Is there? Yes, there is. There is. Let me go, please. Where is it? I don't know. It's a torpedo. I just aimed it into the pipe and I let it go. I swear. Time fuse? About 20 minutes. Yes, yes. Got about 12 minutes. On the outside. Can do? I've got it. Stark had told part of the truth anyway. He hadn't been inside the pipe himself. He had aimed the torpedo through a hole in the screen. seemed to make things worse. I fought down my panic and reasoned my way out. I had to undo my straps. That was the first thing. But how? I pressed up against the gauge as high as I could go. For just a split second, the pressure was eased, just barely enough to enable me to loose the straps and free myself. fairly easy to untangle the tanks. I wasn't out of trouble yet, though. My air wasn't flowing properly. My struggles had damaged the regulator. It had to be fixed. I didn't have the tools for the job. Just a knife. Still might be my day to get blown to bits, but it wasn't my day for drowning. Hi there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is certainly 
certainly a lot of fun, and it's full of adventure. See some more of it again next week, huh? When there'll be another excursion into that fabulous underwater world of sea hunting. <laughs>